Hi there, and welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers, online courses for free where you can develop your very own online course. Right now, I'm um, giving a course on TESOL Online with AI, develop an online course, and the participants have started creating their courses. Going to go into my demo course and show you how you can add four resources to your courses before you start the activities. Going to start with turn editing on. You can do this as a teacher. By the way, you can join any of these courses. You can come in as a guest and view how the teachers, that's the participants, are developing their courses. Notice I've already added, but I'm going to add it again. Going to go into resources choose the simplest one, which is the URL, add the name of the URL, in this case it's Magic School, add the link of Magic School. Now notice I need to add something to the description, so I'll just say try Magic Magic School, all right, and then I'm going to continue here with appearance. Under appearance I'm going to go into new window or I can go into automatic, which is exactly the same automatic as the way it was set up. If you want to know more about how things are set up, you can see them here. And then I'm going to save and display. And that's what it will look like. Try Magic School. Click on Magic School to open the resource. All right, so that's um, for the participants. And that's how it comes. That's the first one. The next one that I'm going to show you, and this time I'm going to go into another add an activity or resource, going to resource. And the second one that I want to show you is uh, also pretty short. It's called a page. Now, a page has two parts, um, and you need a title, of course. So um, we'll call this Magic School again. All right, we don't, yeah, we need a description here, but this time I'm going to change the description because I'm going to add some content to this page. Yes, I'm going to go into Magic School so I can get some content. I'm going to go for, notice all the possibilities here under Magic Tools. You can also search for one. You can also have some favorites if, if you like going to go for um, information. That's what I want. I want something informative. Informational text, okay, or I can have a syllabus generator. I'm going to go into information text. And my grade is uh, professional staff or university. Um, yeah, one paragraph is enough. And um, in this case, it's nonfiction. And the topic is living in Canada, right? In Can Canada. All right. That's the topic. One paragraph is enough uh, for um, new adult learners uh, of English. Okay, they're new and generate living in Canada. So let's see what I get here. One paragraph, living in a new country. All right, so we've got all of this. Going to copy it. I can also read it loud, but that's not for right now. Going to go back in the course, and this time notice I've got two parts. I don't have to, well, I do actually have to add to the description, and I also have to add to the content. My content is this. Okay, and uh, that's huge. <laughs> Let me make that uh, smaller by going into here. You can see the font. I'm using TinyMC. And actually, I don't want it to be a title. I want it to be something regular. So if, if I go into format, okay, I can have no headings. I want paragraph. So let me go into paragraph. There, that's it. And if I want to highlight it, I'll do that. Okay but I don't need it to be any larger. Now I can add all of this to this part because nobody will see it anyways, unless I display 
the description on the course page. And there's no real description here. Next, I am going to go into Appearance and see what's available here. Display, no, I don't need any of that. Common modules, no, restrict, no, completion, yes. Always have completion. Okay, ha students have to do something. So add requirements. In this case, the only thing they can really do is view it. Okay, so this is what they will see. Okay, that's called a page. Let's go back into our sections. We can also jump here, notice, or we can go to the left and jump and open it up here again. We're under the introduction. Okay, here. Introduction is not here because that's where we are. And we've got Magic School twice. Okay, but I think this should be something else. It shouldn't be Magic School. Well, it was generated by Magic School, but we'll leave this for now. We can fix this later. Let's now go back into introduction. We'll close the left here. We don't need that. And here we'll go into edit and add living in Canada. Okay, because that's what it is. Living, adjusting to life. Okay, <laughs> they changed the title. Yeah, all right. Didn't notice that. Um, so living in Canada was my title. All right. Next, I'm going to go back and add an activity or resource. This time, notice they all have different icons, sources. I'm going to go into PDF worksheet. Click on that. And now I need a PDF file. Now I went into Defit and I added the same information and I got this. Notice an image and um, my text is here. I haven't signed in yet. Okay, but what I want is a PDF of this. All right, so I'm signed in. Notice I can get a doc. Um, export printable doc or um, I can print this. And if I go into print, I should be able to export it as a PDF. Okay, print or PDF. So I'm going to choose save as PDF save. Now I've got a PDF adjusting to life. Okay, great. Now I can go back <laughs> into my course. Okay, and the name is adjusting to life in Canada. I think that was the title. All right, and the description. I can write the whole thing there. Okay, now I'm going to upload. Okay, now appearance, um, show size. Yeah, why not? Show upload. Eh, I'm not sure about that. Common settings. Okay, I think everything's fine. Conditions. Okay, I want students to view it. I want them to read it. Okay, so there we go. Now we can take a look at it. Okay, so there's the PDF. Now I'm the teacher, so I'm going to stop the edit mode. So you can see what students will see. This is called Aminote. Going to go in as a student. Switch my role. Teachers can do this to view things as a student, which is really helpful. Now notice now it only has two. I don't know if you noticed, but before it had four. So now I'm going to open the worksheet. And this is Aminote. Allow. It'll take a few seconds because this is my first time in here. And here we go. All right, so isn't that nice? So this is actually a collaborative note-taking tool, which is amazing. Notice I got it from Defit, so that's here. And then I can just go through it. Well, I'll let you play around with this. I'm not going to go into Aminote, but just to tell you that Aminote is amazing. And of course, you can submit your work to your teacher. That's me. Let's go back. All right, so we've got a, um, a PDF file. All right, so let's go back into introduction. There's our PDF and there's the size as well. I, I don't think that's necessary, so maybe don't add that. Next, I am going to, I'm a student, so I can't be a student. As students, you cannot be in the edit mode. There, I turned editing on at the top right. Now I'm going to back go back into an activity or resource. And this time, I'm going to add the fourth one, my favorite, which is book. It takes a bit longer to create, but you'll love it. And students will too. And they can print it out. It's absolutely amazing. All right, so we'll give it a title. 
um, living in Canada, I think. Living in Canada. Okay, and then the description, I'll just add this again. Um, and then appearance. Okay, numbers or bullets. How, how do you want your book? Custom titles, common settings. Okay, everything is fine here except for the completion. Requirements are to view, of course. We want them to view it. Now you're not going to save and return to course. You're going to save and display. Now we'll give the first chapter a title. Uh, adjusting, even though we only have adjusting to life. We only have one paragraph in Canada. Okay, and then the content. We'll add the content. You can also add tags and we'll save that. Okay, that's our first one. Now we're going to go Okay, students need to read that. Next, we are going to go to the plus. Okay, we're going to add another chapter. So let's get some information by going to Magic School. And this time we're going to go into Reina. All right, because we're on the free version. And this time uh, we're going to add the text. Okay, so this is the text. Um, write questions. Okay, so here we go. We're waiting for Raina. All right, so here are some questions. I did want, I didn't want, oh, and we can copy this. Okay, so let's copy it. We've got some open-ended, yes, no, open-ended question. Uh, let's go back into our course and the content. It's going to be uh, questions. Okay. And we'll add the questions here. I mean, you can do lots of things with a book. Okay, and then say it. I'm just showing you what it's like. Okay, so we've got questions. Next, we're going to go to the right here, and we're going to add another one. Now we're going to add, besides questions, questions. And we'll ask for 10. And there we are. Let's do that. We'll just copy it like that, or you can copy here. It's the same thing. Go back into the course, and this time we're going to write multiple choice. Okay, it's not like a book, but as I said, you can do anything with it. <laughs> it's just very convenient. Okay, save change. I think that's it. We're done. Right, next we are going to uh, take a look at our book. So let's go back into introduction, which is our section. Let's stop the edit mode, and we've got these different icons. Okay, that's the URL, that's the page, that's the PDF file with Aminote, and this is living in Canada. Now we can go in as a student, so you can switch your role, go in as a student, and now click on it, and notice what we have here. Okay, so uh, we go to the right, okay, and then we get all the information by just going through it like that. Okay, so that's what students will be doing, but then we'll be creating activities for them so that they can actually do the work. This is just uh, to show them what they'll be doing. You can also, the best uh, way to share a syllabus is actually to add it as a book. If you have any questions about any of these resources, please let me know and I'll be happy to help.